Stripping the GoPro Hero 9 Black to be light enough to fly on a 3-inch FPV drone, that coming up right after this. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name's Ryan, and on this channel we do a lot of tips, tricks, and reviews, mostly drone-related, but also some photography-related reviews. If that's something you're interested in, please consider hitting that subscribe button. It's greatly appreciated. If you haven't seen our previous review of the Emacs Babyhawk 2 HD, go ahead and check that out. It'll be up in a card up here in the corner. Uh, but in that review, I mentioned that they say that this drone can handle a full-size GoPro. Now, I don't think they meant the, the new GoPro Hero 9 Black. It is quite a bit heavier than a standard GoPro. But, you know, we've got several GoPro models and we wanted to try the best. So, one thing that we did in order to strip this down to make it light enough is we went ahead and, first off, removed the battery door. Second, we removed the battery itself. And then in its place, we went ahead and put in one of our 3D printed uh, battery door covers uh, just to keep the SD card in in case of a crash, it won't go flying out. It also helps, helps keep some dust and debris and grass and that sort of thing out of the battery and memory card compartment. So now you may say, well, you remove the battery, how are you gonna power it? One of the cool things that we have found and have been using for quite a while is this adapter, it's by iFlight. It basically goes from the balance power lead all the way to a USB-C connection. And that way we can just plug in straight to our balance lead right on our LiPo pack on the drone and then plug it directly into the side of the GoPro. Basically we have unlimited power until our LiPo pack runs down. It's also just a great backup option to have in your bag when you're out flying. If your GoPro batteries do run dry, if you run out, you can always plug this in and run it non-stop until your lipos are out. One of the things worth mentioning that when you do remove the battery door and the battery itself and use either no cover at all or our 3D printed cover, this is no longer gonna be waterproof, so you'll wanna avoid water at all costs. And uh, just keep that in mind. So the way we have the camera mounted to the drone, we are using the feet that are directly built into the Hero 9. We are not using any kind of protector. Again, we're trying to keep it light. And then we are using the, uh, this is our 3D printed mount that goes on the Baby Hawk 2. Uh, it has a polycarbonate screw, which is uh, substantially lighter than a regular um, stainless steel screw. So this mount itself, it weighs in at about five and a half grams. It's extremely light. Uh, when you do get this, it does come with a four millimeter wrench that you can just keep in your bag in order to uh, remove and install your GoPro. So that gets the GoPro Hero 9 Black down to almost exactly the same weight as a GoPro Hero 5, 6, or 7. Uh, the GoPro Hero 8 is a little bit heavier than this, but uh, stripping it down gets you into the regular weight of a, an older GoPro, but you still have all the advanced features and better color science, better stability and everything that you get on the GoPro Hero 9 Black. All right, so that being said, let's go ahead and get this in the air. Again, this is the Baby Hawk 2 HD. It is a three inch drone carrying the GoPro Hero 9 Black. So as you can see, I'm just flying around my neighborhood for this one. Just got a request for this video. I know I pro I've been promising it since the last video came out that I did on this. So I thought I'd go ahead and run through this real quick so no special locations or anything like that. Seems to be flying pretty fine. Uh, you do notice a little bit of extra weight. It's not bad though. The tune on this drone is pretty good to start with so I don't think we'll have too many issues. Well, I forgot to put a memory card in my goggles, so I'm not going to have any on-screen uh, goggle view, but so this will all just be straight out of the GoPro. Now the GoPro is set to 4K, it's set to 4x3. And uh, I will be using real steady go on this. I have the inbuilt uh, stabilization turned off. But yeah, so far, flies pretty good. 
Still got plenty of speed. inverted pretty well too. No issues there. I'm anxious to see how much flight time I get. Uh, before I was getting about seven and a half to eight minutes of flight time. And it looks like I will be getting slightly less than that. And I would venture to guess at probably two to two and a half minutes less. keep cruising around here a little bit. Again, I just want to see what kind of battery life we get. I want to see what kind of image we get out of the Hero 9 Black. I've been obviously pleased with it on other projects I've done with it. I've never used it on a 3-inch drone. It's always been on a 5-inch drone. Avoid the cars here. Yeah, now that I know that this flies this well with the Hero 9 on it, obviously it's stripped down. I wouldn't, probably wouldn't do it with the uh, battery and the battery door on there. It would probably be way too heavy for it then, but it flies really, actually really well with the uh, Hero 9 stripped down. I'll be the first to admit I'm not the uh, best FPV pilot. I been flying for just over a year, a year and a half maybe now. So, still learning, but... make it pass under the slide here. And maybe I can go through the twisty slide. Yep, no problem. That is the end of our battery. We are right at a five minute flight time. So that's going to do it for this video. If you found it helpful, please consider hitting that like button. Also that subscribe button for any future videos we have coming out. We've got a neighbor mowing the lawn, so we're going to wrap things up. Fly safe and bye for now.